Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Anthony Wood and this is Shop Mad. Right, so I've kind of done a man thing. I've went out and bought a really big TV and it doesn't fit on the stand. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to design a new TV cabinet to fit a really big man TV. So bear with us, I'm just going to get this drawn up now and I'm going to get it made. Right then guys, I've got the plans drawn up now in SketchUp. So if you would like a free copy of the plan, uh, the SketchUp file that is, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Right, so I'm just going to start by selecting one of the shelves and copying it, just to drag it over to one side so I can get the exact dimensions of what I need to cut out. Now, I'm making the shelves out of 18mm ply and the measurement I need is 944 by 432.4 millimeters if we get that right On the angle of the back of the TV cabinet, I need to mark in 178 millimetres either side up. So I'm just going to get this marked on now, 178, which is there, and it needs to be 238 this way. Now I'm going to have to mark this on either end of the shelf. Now this angle measures at 36.8 degrees, but I'm just going to round it up to 37. And I'm now going to get these pieces cut out. Now off camera I've cut um, four 44mm square legs at 550mm long. As well as cutting the 44mm square legs, I've cut another two legs which are 68mm square and again are 550mm long. Now, the two 68mm legs are going to sit on the front of the TV cabinet. So what I'm going to do now is, because I want to put a taper on the inside leg so I'm just going to mark in 25 millimeters or one inch and 75 millimeters up over right guys can you see I've got the piece now ready which I need to cut out I'm going to be cutting this piece out here but because I don't have a saw which will cut through 68mm stock but I do have a bandsaw and that's what I'm going to use just to remove this piece of stock here on the bottom of the table legs. Right guys, I've got the tapers cut on both legs now and how I'm going to join these to the shelf, I'm just going to dowel everything together. Now, I've raised up the shelf 18 millimeters, which is the width of the plywood I'm using but this is so I can put some kind of edge in on the front so it hides the, the plywood edge. So I'm just going to get this marked off now where I want the dowels to actually be.
I'm just going to do the same with the 44mm by 44mm legs which I'm going to attach here and here and again I'm just going to use the um, dowels just to locate all these in position Right and guys, as you can see, I've got a base of the TV cabinet all made now. And I'm going to turn my attention now to making the top of the TV cabinet. Now, so far, it's accurate to the SketchUp model. Now, because the area on the bottom of the TV cabinet is 108 centimetres wide by 50 centimetres deep. Now, I want to create a 25 millimeter or one inch overhang going all the way around the top of the TV cabinet and I'm going to just join some boards together out of some 20 mil pine. Now to align all the boards while I'm busy gluing up I'm just going to use the biscuit joint and I'm going to put four biscuits in between each joint. Right guys, I've got the top all glued up now, um, but what I need to do now is I need to cut these angles off either end. Now, what I've done is, um, with the SketchUp model, I've measured down from the front back over 317.6 millimetres to here. And from this edge here to here is 321.7 millimetres. Once you've got that, marked off then just draw a line across and then these two pieces here need to be cut off and that will give you the the one inch overlap all the way around the top of the tv cabinet right so the edges are all cut now on the the top itself but i want to create some kind of round over on both edges top and bottom of the tabletop so I'm just going to use a quarter inch round over now and I'm just going to go around the full top
Now to fasten the TV cabinet top to the base I'm going to use dowels again. I've used some scrap wood to create the 25mm overhang all the way around the top. Then I'll remove the top and mark the centre of all of the legs. And use panel pins in the top of all of the six legs. And then place the top back onto the TV cabinet base and press down so to create the position of where I need to insert the dowels. I'm now going to make a start with boxing in the sides. Now I'm going to use 12mm ply to cover all of this inside here on both sides. Right guys, I'm just going to box in this top half. I'm going to do two separate sections because in the top section where I'm going to put all the electricals, I just want to cut this half moon out of the bottom of the piece that will fall in here. So I'm going to get this shape cut out over at the scroll saw. Well that's all the sides now panelled in, I'm just going to go over it now and I'm going to give it a real good sand down, then I'm going to move on to the two doors which I'm going to put on the front. Right then guys, I've got all of the TV cabinet all sanded down now including the top, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make up the two doors that are going to fit here. Now the total width of the two doors what I need are 94 and a half centimetres now I need to make these 26 centimetres deep so I'm going to make these now out of 18 millimetre ply Right, so I've got the doors all attached now, the, the spring loaded hinges are in place and I've got the doors all lined up which is great but because I've put magnetic catches to hold the door shut I'm going to have to make some small handles because I really don't want to have to reach underneath to pull the door open so I'm going to use a bit of 20 mil by 20 mil stock and I'm going to make two handles to go here and here which will be five inches long and in metric that will be about 13 centimeters I've got the door handles made now they're all sanded down and they're ready for us to install now I've measured in 20 millimeters now that's going to be the gap the, the spacing from the edge of the door to the edge of the handle now I'm going to do this either side then I'm going to mark the centers and get them drilled through. I'm just going to countersink these in now.
I'm just going to apply some stain now to the TV cabinet top because I'm going to be spray painting the TV cabinet base itself in a soft hessian colour. It'll all become apparent once it's all done. So I'm just going to get this applied now, so just bear with us. As you can see I've finished the TV cabinet now, I've installed the two doors, painted it um, with a, a silk finish but it's durable enough for this TV cabinet. The top which I've stained and varnished back to a light oak but you can see by the, the TV stand itself the legs to support the TV are positioned at either side. Now they used to be in the centre which would have made it a lot easier to make a TV cabinet for but because they're on either side hence the reason why it's a lot wider now this TV is a 55 inch 4K TV now if you would like to build um, a TV cabinet like this for yourself there is a free SketchUp model uh, available on my website which I'll leave a link down below in the description if you like the video please give me a big like and consider subscribing for new content being added on a weekly basis. So until the next video, bye for now.